All right. Welcome back. Let me get this on the screen. There we go. Welcome back to the SGFL. It's week four. It's the halfway point, or at least it will be, after today. I guess today our playoff picture will s start to kind of take shape uh, a little bit. But really, uh, things are still so... Uh, so even amongst some uh, some division partners that it would uh, certainly not be set in stone yet. Um, and I mean, that's a good thing. It's only halfway. Um, let's take a look at our standings after last week. We've got the Starmen and the Defenders. Um, defenders are actually in first place. The game is not um, using our tiebreakers. But uh, the Defenders are in first place, and the Patriots are actually in last. Um, got Devils, Undead at 2-1, and one. Billies and Renegons at 1-2. and two. Goldens are our only remaining undefeated team. And then we, of course, have a three-way tie for uh, the bottom with the Crew, Umbrella, and Jets um, all sitting at 1-2. and two. Let's take a look at today's matchups. I'm gonna turn that down. All right. Uh, first up, we've got the Bayou Billies at Umbrella. Got the Starmen at Stars. Undead at Jets. Crew at Renegons, Goldens at Devils, that should be a good one, and Defenders at Patriots. Big week. Big week. Should be good. Uh, going by our, sorry, going by our in-game stats. These aren't completely accurate, of course, because of the fumbles. Got Oteen on top in passing yards, Birkin, Jorge, St. Four, Bodie. Hopefully Trambody comes back today, or at least Tony Richardson. We've got a lot of big names bop, out due bop. to injury. Jesus Christ, Cheb. Hello. Ah! There oh it is. Oh my god, I just scared the shit out of myself because I turned around and then I turned back around. Oh my god! What's up, Cheb? Welcome back. How you doing? Welcome back to SGFL Week 4. Hope you are doing well. See our top receivers. We've got Merrick, Dorian, Patches, Krusty Syntax, Swarmers, and Deez Nuts. Desmond Nuts. Really? There's another guy called Deez Nuts, I think. Or did he not get drafted? I don't remember. Um, Goris running away with the rushing leaders uh, spot. He's uh, way up on top with the 508 yards. And he's also got seven touchdowns on the ground. I think eight total because he's got one through the air. Um, our top sackers are Birkin and Benezia. Benezia got all seven of those sacks last week. The Renegons had no sacks going into last week, and then they got um, 11 total and seven for Benezia, which was a brand new undisputed record for sacks in a single game. Hey! What's up, Dennis? How you doing, dude? Billies are up first, actually, so you're just in time. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Here, let me... Uh... Holy shit. What was that? We're gonna try and fight it. Fuck it, why not? Why did that play a, a scary sound? Yeah, we, uh... Or, I mean, a, like an alert we sound. We shouldn't have tried, tried to fight it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> doing well? How am this, I? Uh, I'm doing well. Might not have been the best idea. SGFL days are always like a little anxious. I'm always really like excited to get to the games and stuff. So it's so a it's a big this like sign here. I don't know. Yeah. Like there, okay. there's a, there's like a a, <laughs> a, t a tension in the air all day leading up to the start, but it's very exciting. Um, normally, normally I'm um uh. Dude, no problem. Yeah, if anybody hasn't seen Dennis, definitely check Dennis out. I don't think anybody's really here yet, but... Um, yeah, we've got the Billies up first, so... 
Yeah, the Billies fucking... They, yeah, they fucked shit up last week, so... They could have their chance uh, at starting up a winning streak today. Um, they're playing the other team from Raccoon City, the Umbrella, who have been on a two-game losing streak of their own, not looking super great, um, other than William Birkin being uh, the regular sack artist. But um, I think it's Billy's at Umbrella. Why don't we go ahead and start up the prediction for that? And then we'll get into our first game momentarily. Set that for 15 minutes. Start. And let me pause that and let's uh let's jump in. I think we're ready. I'm feeling pretty ready. Billy's at Umbrella. Let me take a sippy of Wawa. Ooh. Let's do it. Hey! Umbrella gets Mr. X back. That's huge for them. That could be the Tide Turner. Could be. We'll see. They do win the toss. That is massive. That's right. I agree. I agree. Capaletti. Going to kick off for the Billy Boys. This thing is underway. Tyrant. Putting a return on this thing. Pretty good, too. Up to the 42. Ready, Going all in on Billy's. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Ed Kayat with the opening sack on Annette Birkin. And that's going to lose them seven. They're backed up to the 35. Sacked again, and it's a fumble. Oh, it's bouncing around, and the Billies have it! Breaking away, it's Dwayne Wood! Billies with the ball! Oh my goodness. Hey, what's up, Doyen? Doyen going in on the Brellas. I've, that's a good shortening for that. Brellas. I wish I thought of that. That's good. What's up, Doyen? Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League. Drawing Taylor up the middle. Gonna get swallowed and finally dropped. And that will work them to a three and out. But hey, they're gonna get three points out of this fumble. Uh oh. Uh, well. It's good! Three nothing, Billy Boys. Huge fumble. They aren't able to fully capitalize on it, but thanks to the field position it put them in, they do get three points out of it. We'll see if their defense can continue to be dominant. Here they come. Gets the pass off and hits them. It's Krusty Syntax making a huge possession catch. And that'll move the chains. Second down and eight. Shotgun play coming up. Birkin with time. Going to throw over the middle and it's going to get knocked out of the air. Third and eight. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Over the middle again, and nearly intercepted. Good defense by the Billies. That'll bring up fourth down. Brella gonna punt. You had guys open down the right, my guy. Uh, yeah, you'll have that. <laughs> Punt's going to go for a touchback. And we've got last guy trying the left side. Can't find any room. And they'll say he lost a little bit. Tomo in the shotgun under heavy pressure right away, and they're going down. It's Jack Baker. Have you played RE7? Because uh, I've played RE7. From their own eight, third and 22. He's going to be throwing from his own end zone. He's going down. Oh, it's a safety. Birkin with the sack. And it's three to two. 
<laughs> it's three to two! Yeah, we're back. They're back in the game. Also, that's true. It's it's a lot harder to see with a with a helmet on, and literal monster men uh, trying to attack you. Hunter Beta finding room around the right side, getting the first down. And now Umbrella is moving the ball. Looks like we'll get one more play before the end of the first quarter. And Birkin will get sacked. It's Ed Kayat again. Three to two after the end of one. That's a hell of a scoreline. Hunter Beta around the right side again. Dodges one. Gets past another. Breaks a tackle and is finally dragged down at the one yard line. Umbrella knocking on the door. I'm thinking right up the middle. Oh, around the tackle. They gobble him up in the backfield. Can the Billies make a goal line stand? Up the middle this time. No way. Touchdown and Umbrella takes the lead. Mr. X. Fresh back from his injury. Looking good. My wife said she'd leave me if I lose all my stoop bucks to sports betting. <laughs> Classics to fur jinx. What are you talking about? What, what, what did I say? I've been calling it right down the middle this whole time. If I'm jinxing anybody, it's myself. Nine to three. Handoff goes to Taylor. He's going nowhere. All right, yeah, okay, fair enough. Tomo's going down again. It's Mr. X. Holy smoses. Tomo, third and 21. He's going down again. It's William Birkin this time. Fourth and 30. Punting from their own end zone now. Oh, my goodness. The script has certainly flipped. <laughs> Umbrella alive and looking well. Ironic that uh, Umbrella would be the ones looking alive. Because cause, cause zombies. Uh -uh. <laughs> Birkin with lots of time. Going to fire deep down the left. And it's incomplete. They were looking for Chief Brian Irons of the Raccoon City Police Department. Hand off to Mr. X. Left side. Hit quickly. Fumbles it. And it's going to the Billies. Cheese curd. He's got the most fumbles in SGFL history. And he gets another one on his career total here. As Tomo fires. Looking for Shelly Belly. Incomplete. Triple coverage. I don't know about that. It is true, though. Mr. X has the most uh, fumbles in SGFL history. <laughs> and that, uh... Certainly keeps him in the lead. Last guy making a catch, getting the first down, dodging tacklers, getting to the left side. Touchdown, Billies! They tie it up with that. Last guy, he's the last guy you'd expect to juke and jive like that. He's actually a very talented player. He would be one of the first guys you'd expect. And that's 10-9. Billy's back in the lead. What a play. That's about as elusive as I've ever seen a tight end. Last guy who was a first round pick by the Billies this past season. The rookie looking good. Whoa! Nearly picked out of the air, and that's got to be more careful than that. 10 to 9 ball game. Birkin going down again. Ed Kayat laying him out. Third and 19 coming up. A minute 11 to go in the first half. For real, though. Oh, batted out of the air again. They've had a lot of opportunities and interceptions. They've pulled down none of them so far. Honestly, defensive back play this season has been relatively uh, subdued up to this point. Most interceptions a single player has is two. And then a lot of other people have one, and then many have none. Oh, Tomo going down again. It's the eyeball. That's right, Willie Burke. We'll pay off that loan shark with the winnings. <laughs> Frank Clark trying to find some room around the 
<laughs> and we're on the right. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 Jenna is planning ahead in the chat. <laughs> Tomo stepping up, firing as time expires, looking for last guy overthrown. Okay. And that'll take us to the locker room. It's 10 to 9, a very exciting, though low scoring affair thus far. Whew. <laughs> I mean, what? Well, jeez. I mean, get a load of this. Quite exciting. Quite exciting. Billy's get the second half kickoff, and that's really good for them. If they can uh, find it in themselves to go down the field and get some points, they can really put themselves in a good spot. Taylor dropped for a loss of one on this opening play. And last guy. A lot of room on the left side. Gets across the 50 and now down to the 30. Finally dragged down at the 24-yard line. Now he's a hell of a runner for a tight end. Taylor right up the middle. Fumbles it. Somebody get on it. Umbrella's got it. I don't know who picked it up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Ed Kayat with the sack. I meant to be getting fucking timestamps this whole time. And now I have fucked that up. Cheb, I'm sorry. I just realized that. I meant to be getting timestamps for all the fumbles. Beta with a huge play right over the middle. I was, I was gonna have a, a stopwatch and everything. I totally fucking forgot. And this pass is incomplete as Axion makes their way in. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Axion, welcome back to the stoop. Mr. X has enough for a first down. Axion, welcome back to the stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League. Hope you're doing well, bub. Hope you brought your stoop bucks. Looking for Syntax, got him! Touchdown! Crusty Syntax, giving Brella the lead. That was a very nice pass from Annette Birkin. And off the upright and in, 16 to 10. Raccoon City on top. Hey, what's up, Wolf? Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League. Do I know you? Do I know you? I think I do. I put that in as a placeholder until you tell me what you want for your uh, your intro sound. Tomo going down. It's Birkin again. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my glands. Tomo at risk and in the end zone. Safety. That's William Birkin with two safeties today. That's our second ever two safety game. And it's 18 to 10. That's huge. That's huge for Umbrella. That just might that just might choke it away for the Billies. Birkin with Nemesis open on the right. Got him in stride. Dodges one and another. They may score. Not very fast. Drag down at the five. First and goal, Umbrella. Left side. Oh, they meet him. Stuff him. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. And he's in. Touchdown, Mr. X. And all of a sudden, Umbrella really just opened up a can. Mm, the Billies did what the Billies do. That is a shame. Oh, God, you hate to see it. If I don't win these two books, I won't be able to pay my debts. And Emilio will break my legs. Oh, no, Dennis. <laughs> Dennis, I've got bad news, bub. Oh, my goodness. Do we have a third safety in us? Oh, my God. Could they break the record only a week later? Just woke up from a nap. Glad to be here. Glad to have you here.
Phillies did what the Billies do? You mean lose? Yes. They are the losingest team in SGFL history. It is kind of what they do. That's why it's so exciting when they win. Can you believe they're the only team to ever shut their opponent out? Doyen's gonna save you from Emilio. Nice. <laughs> Gotta leave town. Taylor with not a lot of room. And got the first down. This game was close at halftime. But uh, 14 quick points by Umbrella, and all of a sudden, well, it's just not even really 14. 16, pardon me. <laughs> 16 points. I forgot about that safety. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, Umbrella's just taking control. Hey, don't worry, folks. Uh, Wolf said they were going to put a, a 10K on every bet tonight, so there will be plenty of opportunities to make your money back off of him. And there's Umbrella getting another sack and getting the ball back. Turnover on downs. Birkin with options open, going to throw to one that isn't. Why not kick the field goal? Why not kick the field goal? It seems that uh, SGFL teams only really want to kick field goals at inopportune times. You don't say. Indeed, I say, I say. Quite right, I say. That's what, that's what he said last night. I don't, I don't know. Since he, since he made mod, he doesn't need the VIP badge anymore, so. He's got a he's got an extra 50k lying around, <laughs> lying around. Bumble goes out of bounds, and Umbrella will retain possession. Minute 44 to go, and at this point, we're just seeing what the final score will be. Uh, I don't think a game's ever ended in 25 to whatever. I don't think 25 has ever been a winning score, so this'll be a, this'll be a fun score Agami in a brand new column. Beta backed up, third and 23 coming up. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. It's irons over the middle. Fourth and five, they're gonna kick a field goal. Wesker, from a good ways out. He's got it. 28 to 10 and they ruined my score, Agami. Morning from the back of his own end zone, and he'll be tackled at the five. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Hand off up the middle. Taylor bobbing and weaving right through the middle. Huge gain still going. Crossing midfield. <laughs> Quite a run, and we'll get one more play before the end of the day. Well, before the end of their day. Shelly Belly over the middle. Can they score? Oh, drag down at the one, maybe the two, and that's going to do. The Billies lead 10 to 9 at halftime. <laughs> and, then don't, and then don't score another point. And end up losing 28 to 10 here in Raccoon City. That catch by Shelly Belly there at the end was their, uh, their best completion of the day. Rony Tomo actually completed 60% of his passes. He was just getting sacked so much that he didn't really have a chance to throw, I guess. Is the new thing to let the prediction run during the current game? Because I bet during this game. Yes. Yeah, instead of... Since, since people aren't always around for, like, the very start of the game, I like to just let it run. And then it runs into, like, the fourth quarter-ish. The center just let Birkin buy every play. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to be interested in seeing how many sacks that was. That was... It was quite a few. Wait, let me get the 
save state before I forget. And then we'll settle up the bet, and then we'll start up our next one. And then Cheb, I fucked up and didn't start my stopwatch for that game. But I will start my stopwatch for the next game and the rest of the games, and then I will have timestamps ish. God bless it. Uh, for the rest of the games. I'm sorry about that. I meant to have timestamps for all of them, but I forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. Um, my bad. Uh, if some scary looking giant tattoo dude comes around looking for the 69420 stoop bucks I owe him, you guys haven't seen me, okay? Okay. That's fair. Yo, nice pot. <laughs> I like that. Um, okay, here, let me open the thing. I'll set up the, or I'll, I'll, uh, settle up the, the thingy. All right, so congrats to Umbrella Betters, and thanks to everybody who bet. Holy, uh, holy cow. Umbrella gets back in the win column, and they're back up to 500, uh, -huh, and the Billies, uh, Know the familiar feeling of defeat. Once again. Sorry, Gronk's running wild behind me. Um, okay, let me double check. Okay, I have my state. What is the next game? So I'll start my stopwatch when I hit game start on the next one. And then I'll just leave it running for all of the games. And that'll be rough timestamps because I suck. Uh, Starman at Stars coming up next. Ooh. That should be good. Starman at Stars. Can the Stars get revenge? Oh, here, I want to plug in the, um... Fifteen minutes, boom. There you go. Yeah, when stars collide. I believe these two teams... Oh, no, these two have not played yet this season. Pardon me. This is their first meeting this season between these two division rivals. Uh, and it should be a good one. I'm excited for it. You're excited for it. You just don't know it yet. Or maybe you do. Um, all right. So every time there is a fumble, I will hit the lap button because I am capable of that. <laughs> Eggs, Benedict, coming back. All right. These are timestamps for the fumbles. Stars win the toss. <sighs> Follow Pole Star to kick off. And the Benedict back from injury will return it from the 30 only to the 30. Oh my god, are they out again right away? Oh my god, he's re injured right away! He came back just just to get re-injured one play later. Oh, also Ness and Pooh did not come back for the Starman. Claire Redfield making a big catch over the middle, right at midfield, and now Claire Redfield is down. 
Oh my goodness! Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Hospital pass! Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. An actual hospital pass. Oh my goodness. And Ethan Winters will take it left side. Getting the first down and a lot more. First down to the 27, maybe the 26. And Mungus is going down. Jackie with uh, w uh, with their first sacky <laughs> of the season. Mungus stepping up, taking off on third and long. Getting the first down! And in to first and goal! From the eight. Eight and a half. Handoff goes to Winters. Breaks one tackle and another! And another! Broke three tackles on their way to the one yard line. Second and goal. Up the middle. Touchdown! Who is it? It's Brad Vickers! Yo! What's up, Blue? Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League. Holy moly! Stars lead 7-0. Sodi will return and get dropped inside the 10. Ooh. Despite a rough start, the Stars jump up on top early, and then now <laughs> Todd Howard getting an opening sack on Henry, and they are at risk of a safety. Better look out. Handoff goes to Buzz Buzz, who gets a little bit, but not much. Henry going to try to bob and weave, and that will bring up fourth down as the Starmen go nowhere. Looking... Not quite themselves without uh, their offensive leaders today. Gronk has got the zooms. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Throwing for Winters. Coverage holds nicely. Ready, Can the Stars... Uh, Perhaps double up on their lead. Go down the field again. <laughs> Hoping I don't lose my 10,000. We'll see how it goes. So far, looking pretty good. Although, this drive fizzles out, and the Stars will have to punt it back. Hell of a start. I can't believe Eggs Benedict came back from injury, and then one kick return later got hurt again. <laughs> that is, like, nuts. Henry trying to find some room on a quarterback keeper. Third and eight coming up. Oh shit, Axian's taking that bet. He believes in the Starman. He knows what they're capable of as Henry tries to unload for Tracy, overthrows. And that'll bring up fourth down. Ooh, Polestar takes a hit there. There is no roughing the kicker, though, so uh, it's fine. And the Stars will take over. Sussy Mungus under center, gonna hand it off. No, it's play action. And that pass is blocked right away. <laughs> Pet the Starman. Throwing for a wide open microwave lasagna who makes a leaping catch at the 50. Runs it down to the 31 before being tackled. Looking for lasagna. Leaping grab again. First and goal from the six. I'm thinking a handoff to Ethan. 
No, it's Brad Vickers. Wide open on the right side. Touchdown, Stars. Oh, my goodness. This is what the Starmen were afraid of. In the absence of Ness and Pooh, they are not quite what they normally are. The offense is not moving as well. And now they're having trouble keeping up with the stars. Who I don't think they've ever lost to. This would be the circumstance to do it in, though. We'll see. Toss goes to Buzz Buzz. Wide open lane. Gets closed off in a hurry, though, but not before picking up the first down. Still plenty of time to get on the board before halftime. Gronk agrees. Go. Try to lob it into Tracy. Double coverage prevents uh, such a connection. Henry with options open. Started to close up, but he unloads. Looking for Mr. Saturn. And that ends up getting covered up. Third and ten on the way. The Starmen have come back from uh, pretty wild odds before. Ooh, incomplete and double coverage again. And they'll bring out Paula Polestar for what will be a big-time record field goal if she hits it. Oh, wide right, and there's another miss for her total. Goodness gracious. Incomplete pass. No fumbles yet. Watch there be no fumbles for the rest of the day. Vickers can't find any room, and that'll bring up fourth down for the Stars. They'll punt it away. Nut button. And the touchback will send us to the locker room. 14 to nothing. Stars out in front. Certainly not the uh, box score you would have been expecting. Uh, going into this necessarily. Uh, even with the absence of uh, Ness and Pooh, I, I feel like the Starmen were the favored team. Maybe I'm wrong. They get the ball to start the second half. We'll see what they can do. Under pressure, Henry going to throw for Mensa. Incomplete once again. Strong defense. Really just... I don't know. The Stars don't have uh, the best secondary. Their linebackers are great. They have the best linebacking core. But their weak secondary is looking very good against uh, Henry, who up until last week hadn't started. Actually, this is his first start ever. Last week, he was a substitution. And this drive goes nowhere, and they will punt it away. Stars get ready for their opening second half drive. They're feeling a little play action to start things off. Maybe not. Jackie with another sacky. That's two for them today. Hand off. Vickers up the middle. Not a lot of room. So far, this is our lowest scoring game ever. Our lowest final game was 17 total points. It was a 17 to nothing game. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Wozniak gonna return. Swallowed up quickly, and they'll start at the 20. It's been just a battle of uh, 
defense is here as neither offense can get a whole lot going. They do pick up a first down here to start things off. Maybe this is the start of something good for the Starmen. Buzz Buzz trying to bob and weave. Pick up five. Henry from the shotgun going to step up and fire. Underneath to Mensa, incomplete. Henry in the flat to Buzz Buzz, who dodges one, gets the first down. Across midfield to the 42. Pardon me, the 43. Toss to Buzz Buzz. Gets some good blocking, makes a good dodge. Gets inside the 20. 10. Down at the 5. First and goal, Starman. Can they get on the board? Uh-oh. Backed up to the 9. Second and goal. Nine and a half. Toss. Has some lead blocks. Got it! Touchdown! Starmen are on the board. Buzz Buzz, who, good lord, when's the last time Buzz Buzz scored a touchdown? A Seinfeldian kickoff. His way to a nice Brad Vickers return. Nine seconds to go in the third quarter. 14-7, Stars nursing a seven-point lead. Handoff goes up the middle to Vickers, who is swallowed up after a gain of five, and that'll take us to the fourth quarter. The final quarter. Do the Starmen have another comeback in them? Brad Vickers getting the first down around the right side, dodging two tacklers, and then being brought down by the third. Inside the 30 to the 29. Nowhere to go for Winters. Second down coming up. And they try Vickers this time up the middle. Only a couple for him. Third and seven. They are in field goal range. And Brad Vickers is a pretty good kicker. Fourth and five. He'll get a shot. To go up by two scores. It's... No good! Oh! Oh! Brad Vickers, who last year and the year before, I think would have made that every time. This season, not nearly as accurate. From range, Henry under heavy pressure, and his pass will be blocked. Second down coming up. Do the Starmen have the ability to force another overtime? Going long for Buzz Buzz. Diving grab to the to the opponent's 40-yard line. And oh, it's the fake, but it's not to poo, it's to Buzz Buzz! Sprinting away for the first down, shaking off one tackler, and then finally being brought down by the mob. Oh, they try the pitch again. It's not gonna work twice. Second and 15 from the 30. It's a keeper by Henry. He gets it back up near the original line of scrimmage. I'm clutching my pearls. Throwing for Tracy. Cut! Touchdown, Starman! He's been trying it all day. He says, hell, what's one more? Throw it up. Woo! And Paula Polestar doinks in the uh, the extra point off the upright. That was close. And now it's 14-14. We may have back-to-back -back overtime games by the same team. It's not over, Wolf. Mungus under pressure. Going to get the pass off. Looking for microwave lasagna deep on the right side. Incomplete. Good adjustment made by the defensive back. Sprinting across the field to deflect that ball. And whoa, Jackie getting another sack as they sniff out this play action. Third and 17 coming up. 
Starman want to win it in regulation. They're trying to get the ball back quickly. From the shotgun, Mungus with time has lasagna. Leaping grab for the first down. And they are in field goal range. Knees weak, palms sweaty. Hand off the middle to Brad. Six yards there, and they'll call their final timeout. 54 seconds on the clock. Trying to inch it closer. Brad Vickers has already missed one. Uh-oh, under pressure. Gonna toss it. Incomplete. Third and four. Hand off goes. They get the first down. They're gonna get a shot at the field goal. Unless they unless they run it in for the touchdown. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They'll back him up. Jackie with a fourth sack on the day. Trying to do everything they can. Here comes the field goal. To win it. It's good. Vickers puts it through. And we'll get one more play. One more play. Ness and Pooh ain't here. Fires it up for Monkey. Incomplete. Stars win it. What a game. What a game. The Stars with their first ever victory over the Starmen in incredibly dramatic fashion. Woo! Oh my goodness. Down 14 to nothing, the Starmen come all the way back. That catch in double, or was it triple coverage by Tracy? To tie it up. And then, oh, no! The give it away on defense. A defense that had been playing relatively well all second half. Um, an incredible game. A low-scoring affair. Uh, certainly. Very nice. Let me get my save state. There were no fumbles in that game. Funny enough. I feel like that I feel like that might be our first fumbleless game all season. Holy cow. Uh week 4-2. Starman at Stars 14 to 17. Stars get the dub ski. That's in Cro in Croy Abla. Set in Koi Abla. You know? Good for them. I could pay Dennis's debt right now. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. I think Emilio's coming for him. Congratulations to Stars Betters. Thank you to everyone who bet. The Starmen tried to come back and they came close. Uh, all right, what's up next? Got my state. I plugged in the score. Up next, we have Undead at Jets. And this should be a good one. The, the, uh, the New Undead. -E Jets. <laughs> the, the Jets will be there. The Undead, who were just looking prolific offensively in weeks one and two, were totally shut down last week uh, when they went uh, to play the, the Pats. Um, St. Four, who had eight touchdown passes through weeks one and two, had only one last week. Will he get his total to ten this week? Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to, to see. Is it? I'm sorry. It's Undead at Jets, yes. The Jets got their first win, but they lost their starting quarterback. Will he be back today? Will uh, Tony Richardson be back today? Will Fergit Hope be back today? The Jets have more injuries than anybody, uh, with three of their guys down. 
Um, now that could change. Hopefully it will for them today. We'll see. Uh, if not, though, Len Wobbses was finding the targets pretty well. So we'll see if he can continue to do so today, if need be. Uh, undead at Jets. There you go. There you go. And, uh, all right. Pause that. Full screen that. And we are going in. Tony Richardson. He's back, baby. But they do not get Trambody back. Jets win the toss. We'll elect to return. Danielson. Gonna bring it out of the end zone. We actually haven't. We haven't gotten one full game of Bodie and Lycan. Ooh, Wobzes dodges the sack and then throws for Lycan, who makes the grab and then is brought down where he stands. Up to the 40, they move. Jets on their way. Here's Richardson getting bottled up in the backfield. Drop for a loss of six. After the sack, Wobzes stepping up. Gonna take off. He's not afraid. He'll be pursued from behind and brought down. Fourth and 16. Coming up, and the Jets will punt. Not betting on the Jets. Will be your undoing. Solaire won't have to return this one. We'll see what St. Four and company have. Starting with a play action. Gonna unload for Solaire. Deep down the left side. Hits him. He's got one man to beat. Can't beat him, though, but it'll be first and goal right away for the undead. They are the chosen. Up the middle. Mildred. Dropped after a gain of two. Second and goal. Handoff goes to Siegmeyer. Who stuffed at the goal line? Third and goal coming up. Yeah, what are the Jets? I only know the Jets. Patches, no good. They actually managed to. Uh oh, they're going for it. They're going for it. They're gonna stop them. Goal line stand by the Jets. The Jeets. And now a safety by the. Oh my. Oh my heavens! Two to nothing, undead on top! And now Sieglinda putting a nice return on things. What a turn of events. That was the plan the whole time. Now they can get a, what, what, a, a nine point touchdown. <laughs> Siegmeyer making the catch out of the backfield, getting the first down inside the 30 to the 27. And looking for patches over the middle. Can't get it. Double coverage holds too tightly. Uh-oh. Heavy pressure. Can't get to him. Catch made by patches inside the 10. Diving grab in double coverage. Up the middle. Mildred. Touchdown. Chosen undead. Man eater Mildred makes a cut right at the goal line and takes it in for the undead. 8 nothing ball game. Looking to make it 9 nothing as Firekeeper. And she's got it. Undead on top. Well, now the Jets have their work cut out for them as they've, uh, have <laughs> they make that incredible goal line stand. Oh, no. Danielson is down. Leighton Danielson is down. Now, Ch Chamberlain, Ch Ch Chamberlain, Chamberlain. 
Latam? Latam is down. Change your lane. Checks in. Wobbles. Plenty of time. Gonna throw for Molitnert. Intercepted at the 50. It's Ornstein. The Dragon Rider. Hand off to Sigmire. Going right side. Dodging one. Tries to cut it back in. They'll measure, but it's uh, definitely short. Second down coming up. Handoff goes to Siegmeyer once again. Gets enough for the first down this time. Not much more than that. First down from the 36 and a half. Andre got it over the middle. Dodges inside the 10. Oh! Stopped just short. Look at that. The ball is breaking the plane. Oh my goodness, they back him up. They back him up. Is it all part of the plan? I don't know. Pass in the flat to Mildred. Dodges the tackler and she's in. Touchdown undead. 15 zip. And I believe that is St. Four's 10th touchdown pass of the season. Change your lane. Whoa! First return for the Jets. Dodges the last guy. One man to beat. Oh, he'll catch him. But it'll be first and goal for the Jets from the seven. A chance to get back in the game. Richardson on the flea flicker. Throwing to like it. Incomplete. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Throwing. Incomplete. <laughs> Ready, Sorry, I got something in my throat. <laughs> He's got options open. Wobs is for Malitnert. Got it! Touchdown, Jets! Let me get a Jets! The New York J E T E Jets! That's right, baby! 16 to 7, and the Jets are on the board! No, not Jets. Jets. See, Glinda with another nice return. St. Four. Going to throw over the middle for Andre. Double coverage holds tight. Can the Jets uh, get some kind of miracle turnover and maybe another touchdown before half? Really make this thing competitive? Siegmeyer with nowhere to go. Stuffed at his own, uh, his own line of scrimmage. Saint four. Throwing over the middle for Andre. Dodges the tackler. Gets past another two. Inside the 20 to the 18. First down. Undead. Will they run another play? Nope. They're gonna let uh they're gonna let Firekeeper kick the field goal. Ooh, I think that's a miss. Oh wow! Nicely done! Jizz. We could have a jizz sound effect. It could be the, the cantina music. <laughs> Although that might get content ID'd like constantly. 19-7, undead on top at the half, but the Jets aren't out of it yet. Can they pull off a come from behind victory in front of the hometown crowd here today? Uh, they did it last week when the pressure was on. Can they do it today? Let's find out. I think they were at home. Yeah, they were at home last week. Undead gonna have to return from their own end zone, way back of their own end zone, only getting it out past the 10, but still, honestly, that's a pretty good return given the situation. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Who are you talking to? Good idea. Hey, what's 
up, Spoon? Four going down. It's Todd Gonzalez. Welcome back to the stoop. Welcome back to the SGFL. How you doing, Spoon? Hope you're doing well. Hope you brought your bucks with you. Saint Four getting away on a quarterback keeper. Breaking tackles. Dodging tackles. Breaking tackles. Getting it up to the 45. Go undead. Here they go. Four. Throwing it back across his body. Intercepted. It's Ducknut. And the Jets are taking it the other way. And that's the twist the Jets need. Flea flicker. Quick throw for Terry Grain. Oh, can't find the hookup. Bobson Ducknut. Richardson. Dodging tacklers. Getting out in front. Crossing midfield. Breaking tackles. Down to the 40. And the reversal to Lycan. He's got speed. He's got the edge. He's got the sideline. He's got it inside the 20 to the 16. First down, Jets. Stepping up. Wobs is... Not quite sacked, but he didn't quite gain anything either. Toss to Richardson. It's the keeper. Ooh. Probably should have cut it to the right instead of the left, but hey. Hindsight's 20-20. Wobs is going to throw for Richardson. Incomplete. Oh, no. And now they will try a field goal. That's still going to keep them down by two scores. But it will give them an opportunity if they need to to potentially win on a field goal rather than needing multiple touchdowns. I get it. But man. See Linda breaking tackles, cutting it back across field and then back into the middle. Getting across midfield once again. See Linda. See Linda. And here goes her Papa Siegmeier, cutting around tacklers, making four men miss it once. One more play before we head to the fourth and final quarter. St. Four, with time, starts to break down. Going to throw for patches. Incomplete. Fourth quarter coming up. 19-10 ball game. Undead. In charge. Have the ball. Going to dunk it out to Siegmeier. Gets the first down inside the 20. The Jets need another turnover. Throwing. Oh, I thought Solaire might make that catch. I thought he really might. Caught by Patches, first and goal. Great catch off the slant, cuts it in front of the defensive backs. And that's first and goal from the five. Options open. Throws it away? I'm not sure I understand that one. And off. Mildred! And that may be the final nail in the Jets' coffin. 25-10 is the score. 26-10 after the extra point. <laughs> Cuts Dwan. Changer Lane! Changer Lane! Just go ahead and leave him on kick return. And Richardson looking for room and finding it. Touchdown! Tony Richardson gets the Jets into the end zone. I'm going to be down 20K stoop bucks. Does anyone, does anyone know which bus Dennis caught out of town? <laughs> Oh, Wolf's putting up 20K next. Mildred recovering the onside. Sprinting up to the 34. 
And the undead are just about ready to put this one to wraps. Oh! Gin Ginlins! Ready, down! Hut, 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 hut. Mildred, left side, looking for room. Can't quite find it. Third and 12 coming up. And I'll bet 10. Just make sure you bet opposite a wolf. <laughs> Mildred can't find any room, and they'll bring Firekeeper out for the field goal to make it 29. She doesn't have it. Oh, I think that might be her first missed field goal of the season. That's a shame. Richardson with nowhere to go as we take it to under two minutes. A silver spoon is worth only slightly more than the market price of silver? What about a silver fork? Wobs is looking for options. Gonna throw for Lycan. Incomplete. You took too long. Yeah, I missed him too. Gaping dragon with the sack on Wobs's. Now off play action. Throwing for Richardson. Got him in stride. This is going to be a touchdown. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If they get the onside, they could kick a game-winning field goal. Hang on. The Jets are in this thing. 26-24. We've got a ball game. Onside. Bouncing. Bouncing, recovered by the undead. And now, uh, genuinely barring some miracle, the undead should win it. Siegmeier dodging around. He'll go down. Under 20 seconds to play. Jets need uh, a very fast turnover. This is gonna do it. Andre with a catch and the dagger. Oh my goodness. He nearly broke it for another one. That got really close all of a sudden. That was kind of fun right there at the <laughs> right there at the end. It got really close all of a sudden. Oh man. No fumbles in that game either, by the way. As soon as I start actually keeping timestamps, um there are none. So I love that. Um Saint 4, 243 yards. Did have an interception, but that's okay. They come out on top, 26-24, just barely edging it out. If only they had gone for that TD instead of kicking the field goal. Then, 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 who knows? Do not put radioactive spoons in your mouth. Good. Good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good advice. If my teams are going to lose, I would prefer they don't get my hopes up right at the end. <laughs> Please just get blown out. I can't take it. Oh my goodness. What a game. Undead do come out on top. 26 to 24. Week 4-3. Save. Twenty six to twenty four. That's gonna be a score of gum. Axie and Jinx in full swing tonight. What about your butt? Yeah, what about putting radioactive spoons in your butt? Oh my goodness. Oh my glands. All right, undead, get the dubski just barely. Congratulations. Let's take a look at what we've got up next. Crew at Renegons. This should be a good one. 
I've been looking forward to this one. We just saw Barney Shepard last night. We're going to get to see him again tonight, but now in a football uniform. 15 minutes. Start it up. Start me up. There's a general tip about spoon placement, but I haven't written it yet. Well, as soon as you uh, come out with that, please let us know. Because I'm dying. I'm dying to know. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I've still got my stopwatch going for the timestamps. Game four coming up. Polis crew at Normandy Renegons. It's game time. Some miracle is back. And Juicy Lips. The crew's backfield is back. And just in time, they're going to need them. Polis crew will return Dr. Chakwas to kick off for the home team Renegons. It's on! Some days I freak out because I don't know where to place spoons in a drawer in your kitchen. Uh, at least until Spoon tells us otherwise. Were they big bets? I didn't see them. I mean, I know. Uh, good God, crew can't get anything going. Third and 18 already. I know Wolf said he was putting 20K down. And some miracle goes nowhere but backwards. 20K v 20K. Damn. Oh! Come Q Bear, just barely able to get this punch off, and Jack will return it from back at the 14. It's followed up at the 22. And the Renegons <coughs> come out to start their offensive drive. For good protection. Intercepted right away! Rhythmic slapping! Rhythmic slapping! And the crew take it back the other way. Nico team throwing it up for cum cu or cucumber. Can't connect. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Nick O team under heavy pressure. Gets the pass off. Dorian making a catch on the slant. Sprinting. Drag down from behind at the 23. And the crew move the chains. Some miracle. Finding room on the right. Fumble goes out of bounds. Crew retain possession, and it's a first down. But wooey. That kind of crap is dicey. Oh, wait. Clap. All right, my timestamps may be slightly off. But they'll be within a few seconds. Caught! Touchdown to Dorian. And the crew take the lead. the Renegons do manage to win, you should get a little more than your dime bag, Spoon. <laughs> I would hope. Joker with a decent return. Now the Renegons in the hole, 7-0. From their own 20. Well, it looks like the 19 to me. Looking for Lawson on the right. Got him! Crossing midfield to 40, 30. They're in pursuit. Finally getting her down at the 22. Renegons flipping field position. Shepard from the shotgun. Under pressure. Gets it off to, to, to Krios. Thane Krios can't make the catch in the middle. Under pressure. Gets it off. Looking for Liara. Knocked out of the air. Hunt, 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 hunt. 
Throwing for Liara. Got him this time. Wide open in stride. And this will tie the game up, uh, pending the extra point by Dr. Chakwa. And it is good. 7-7 seven, seven ball game as we end the first quarter. Some miracle to return from their own goal line. Getting it out past the 15 to the 19. Oh my goodness, no! Some miracle is down again. Oh my god. Oteen. Throwing long for Dorian. Incomplete. Good coverage. Oteen. Looking for Hine. Got him. First down. And they'll move the chains. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Good one, Chef. <laughs> It'll take some miracle for them to finish a game. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. We may not see them again for the, until the last game of the season, if that. We may not see them again for the rest of the season. Nick Oteen picking up a first down with his legs. Looking Ready, good. Down. Oh, this is another run. Put, put. Left side, Nick Oteen. He's got blockers. He's got footwork. Got a first down. Cross midfield down near the 40. Ready, from the shock, and they're running it again. O team, they like it. They got the blocks. They're in pursuit from behind. He's got enough for the first to the 30. Matriculating the ball down the field. And this time they're in the shotgun wanting to pass. He's got Dorian. Gonna throw for yellow. Incomplete. That sailed out of bounds. Way off target. Oh, he's got Dorian open again. Oh, he's under pressure. He's going down. Oh, Morden Solis, R.I.P. Third and 21 from back at the 40. Uh-oh. Gets the pass off. Connects it to Pink. And that will give them an opportunity at a mature hour field goal from 47 yards out. It is on the way and... No good! Shepard looking for Masani. Incomplete. Double coverage. Can't connect. Alenko with no one around. Way down the right sideline. They finally catch up at the 15. What a run. Very nicely done. Now the Renegons threatening to take the lead before halftime. Shepard going to keep it. Trying to bob and weave. He'll gain five. Why do they only run the quarterback sneak on first and ten and never like fourth and one or third and one? Intercepted again! Oh my goodness. Now the crew with two interceptions. Shepard with his second two interception game now. It's not even halftime. Her behind on the right side. That'll expire the clock. Dodging. Gets it across midfield before being brought down, but that'll take us to halftime. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Despite the mistakes made by either side, uh, this thing's neck and neck. 7-7. Seven to seven. Uh, It is currently our lowest scoring game. Renegons will return the second half kickoff. Joker taking it from just inside the end zone. Going to get it out to the 13. Pardon me, the 12. Throwing for Masai. Intercepted again! Oh my goodness, it's Clem's hat! Clem's hat with a big-time interception. Picking that off. 
What an adjustment she made to 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 dive in front of that thing. And now the crew aren't able to really move anywhere, but they uh they are in Renegon's territory. Third and eighteen coming up. They're gonna try a handoff. Oh my goodness, dropped again. And it's gonna be a long mature hour field goal from 47 again. He missed one from this distance already. This one is no good as well. Wide to the right. It is still 7-7. Seven seven. Oh my goodness. Despite throwing three interceptions, the Renegons are still super in it. Got Krios wide open across midfield. No one around him. They're in pursuit at the 30. Diving tackle made at the 24. Now the Renegons are once again in scoring position. Or damn near it. Shepard looking for room. He'll get it up to the 20. Can they avoid squandering this opportunity? Throwing for... Oh! Was looking for Krios over the middle, but they ball hawk it. Toss to Alanko. He's stuffed! They're going to be short! And here comes Dr. Chakwas for what could be a go-ahead field goal. This one, from a short distance out, looks good right down the middle. And the Renegons take the lead. Despite throwing three interceptions today, Renegons managed to find a lead here in the second half. 158 to go in the third quarter. There is still a lot of ball to play in this game. Oteen under pressure. Can he break a tackle? Oh, no. It's Samara getting the sack. I don't think we've heard Benezia's name called today. Oteen, looking for room on the left side, looking for to use his speed, dodging away! Dragged down, but not before crossing midfield. First down, crew. Toss goes to Herbie Hind. On the right. Dodging one, speared by another, but not before a first down. Fumbles it away! Oh my goodness! Samara's got it! Breaking a tackle! And getting it to, to the 40-yard line! And now the Renegons have the lead and control. Trying the quarterback keeper. Shepard gonna get a, uh, gonna get six. Let me take a sip of water. Alenko on the right side. Alenko may score. He will! Touchdown, Renegons! To close out the third quarter. They go up by two scores. And that is kind of insane. How does Barney throw three interceptions and still find a way to win the game? Well, it's simple. The, the, the crews did not capitalize on any of them. Chakwas is going to kick it off to start the fourth quarter and... Uh, the crew have their work cut out for them. Do they have a comeback in store? We'll see. Dorian wide open on the right side. Gonna throw for Hind. Intercepted! Goto! Kasumi Goto! With the interception. And to Sony with a catch deep down the middle. Sprinting away inside the 20. To the 10. Gone! Touchdown! And the Renegons have just ran away with it. All of a sudden, the Renegons ran away with it. Just like that. The crew choke it away. In, like, Billy's-esque fashion. Despite a dominant... First half performance by their defense. Their defense cannot hold in the second half, not nearly as well. Third and ten coming up, and oh man. O team gonna try to find room on the left side. They'll stop him. Fourth down coming up. Third uh 304 to go in the game. And they're going to try some play action. 
Throwing for pink. Incomplete. And that'll turn it over on downs. Renegons played an incredible second half. And uh, they got on top of their business. They shook off those interceptions incredibly. They didn't let that kind of stuff, uh, you know, get them down. Their defense stayed in it. Bumble! Clem's hat with the recovery. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Fumble again! Renegons have it! Oh, I'm an idiot. This doesn't work. These laps don't work. <laughs> it's showing how long the individual laps were. I didn't think that through. All right. Miranda Lawson, connector, making the catch. And running it in for another score. 30 to 7. This might set the record for lowest passer rating by a winning QB. Oh my god. What are these touchdowns doing for his passer rating? I'm, I'm assuming that's helping. 31 to 7. Yeah, okay. Thirty-one to seven. Crew getting shellacked. Thirty-one seconds to go in the game, and they're backed up again. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Oteen looking noticeably slower. He's uh, a little haggard. Golly, throwing for only 60 yards today. Barney Shepard completes only 38% of his passes, throws three interceptions, but did get 220 yards for his team. Miranda Lawson, two catches for 100 yards, nice. Dorian held thoroughly in check. Two catches for only 31 yards. And uh, their one touchdown. Um, Oteen, 7 for 77. Caden Alenko, 3 for 94. Um. Golly. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the crew got blasted. Renegons dominate. And, uh. They'll improve to two and two. Seven thirty one. Okay. Let me get my save state. Week four dash four. Uh oh, whoops. Let me settle up the prediction. Congratulations to Renegons, betters. Thank you to everyone who bet. Um, all right, what's next? Goldens at Devils. And I'm back where I started. Well, maybe you can get ahead after this one. We got Goldens at Devils coming up. And then I'm going to keep my timestamps going. They're not actual timestamps. I guess I'll just keep them going so we can know how many fumbles there were. Um, I should have thought that through. My bad. At least, I mean, there weren't... There there were two games with no fumbles, so that's something. <laughs> um, And then there was one in game three and two in game four. And then there was like six in game one. 
Goldens at Devils. If 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 these players would just hold on to the ball. That second TD should put Barney's rating somewhere in the 80s for the game. Oh, okay. So, not great, but definitely not not as dog shit as he has been in the past. So that's good. Oh, snap, I thought we were done. Hell no, nah, dude. We do six games a week now because we got 12 teams. We got two more games to go. I'm going to refill my vape real quick. My ego is hurt. I must bet 25,000 now. Oh my goodness. Wolf is trying to break the bank. Who? I should go. <laughs> Who will answer his challenge? Who will heed the call? I don't know, but let's, uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to take a short bathroom break, actually. I can feel the, the rumblings of a, of a, of a, of a, of needing to do that. Um, <laughs> uh, let's hit the stoop. I'll be right back. Give me like two minutes. Re-upped all my mac and cheese supply. So, I might go fuck some of that. All right, it's an achievement to get this E-Tank and then jump that gap, so let's try to do it. Oh! Ah! Whenever I first played this game, like before I had ever beaten it or anything, I was a lot better at getting through that room or all the past all the beams without getting fucking killed. I don't know what it is. I... I... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, my God. I hate, I hate it. I fucking hate Quick Man now. Hello. Mwah. You okay? <laughs> how how are you guys how are you guys feeling tonight? You doing alright? We hanging in there? Oh wait. A wicked, a wicked, a wicked, a wicked. Take the door that must be taken. I love Ada. Alright. That's everything. We did it! No 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 one, two, three. Oh! Damn! I want to see what's in there. Ah! Damn. Where is he? Whoa! Yeah! Trench coat off! All right, I'm back. Let's get back. To business. Yeah, da dum. Da dum. All right. Week four. Goldens at Devils. Devils suffered a heartbreaking loss at the hands of the Starmen last week in overtime. Can they deliver the Goldens their first defeat today? They're at home. They're best when they're at home. They have a, a fantastic defense. Can they show it off against the greatest running back in the league? We'll see. They get the ball first to start things off, and we are underway. Ready, 
a look at those spider men on the stoop. Looking good, right? Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Levitt's gonna take it left side. Has the first down, dodges. Gets past midfield to the 40. Down to the 30. Inside to the 27. Huge run by Levitz. Looking good, bub. Under heavy pressure, Claude. Gonna go down. It's the AI, Skynet. Second and very long. Levitz gonna try to dodge around right side. Can't really find much room. Third and 16 coming up. Ooh, handoff. It's the flea flicker. Oh my goodness. They call it a sack. I'm surprised they didn't call that a fumble. I saw the ball bouncing around. That will back them out of field goal range, though. And they will punt it away. That looked really goofy. <laughs> Fire the refs. <laughs> what the fuck? Goris gonna take it right side, run into a wall, break a tackle, get away! Crossing midfield, no one's around him! He's nearly got them off the screen! 20, 10! You wanna talk about rigged? <laughs> Goris with another touchdown! I know. I, it might, he might be in excellent condition. It does. It changes every quarter, or it has a chance to change every quarter, rather. So he might be. Oh my goodness, Claude going down. It's Night Rhombus. They swallow everybody. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Steamboat, nice catch. Breaks the tackle. Gets the first down. There's the rookie and first round pick for the Devils. Looking good. He's got options open. Throw it for Dez. He sees Dez. He overthrows Dez. Oh my goodness. That would have been a touchdown even for Desmond. Hand off. They're in pursuit. Trying to bottle him up. He gets away on the right sideline. Dart goes down finally at the 30 yard line. Nice run. And that'll move the chains for the Devils. I, it's not the best pick they could have made. Although it certainly worked out for him there. Levitz breaking a tackle. Taking it inside the five before being brought down. First and goal from the three. Up the middle. No. Right side. No. Play action. Desmond. Levitz underneath. Okay. 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 Warming up. Warming up. Testing them out. I see. From the shotgun. This is Dart. Oh, they see it. They see it a mile away. Fumble it away! Goldens have it! Jody Brown! Up to the 25, and the Goldens are taking it the other way. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. <laughs> oh my god. Batman Beyond on the delayed pitch. Oh, Beyond is down. Batman Beyond is down, a.k.a. Terry McGinnis. Oh wait, shh, you're not supposed to know that. That's his secret identity. And it looks like they check in Richard British. <laughs> oh! They see Goris coming a mile away. Weller with time. Gonna unload for Buggo. Ooh, could have been intercepted. It will be fourth down. Punting will be woo. And that'll be a touchback. Seven to nothing. So far. Uh-oh. Going down again. This time it's John Lovetron with the sack. Uh-oh. Oh, no! No! Pick it up! Touchdown, Golden! Oh, my goodness! The flea flickers never fired back so badly! Oh my god! He just threw it! The ultimate fail flicker! 
And it's 14 to nothing, Goldens. Oh my god. Nani? That is about as bad as it gets. <laughs> That's about as bad as it gets. Welcome back, Blue. You're just in time for what might be game of the week. Oh, they, they're not scared, though. They go right back to it. Gonna throw it into Dart, who's got the first down and more. Crossing the 40-yard line. Getting it up near midfield. I don't think... Wait, I don't know. I think a safety would have been even better. If they... I mean... It probably would end up being better for the Goldens. Uh, in, in the long term. Would have been somehow goofier, also. Oh, quick throw to Nuts! Intercepted! That's K-9! Goldens are dominating. Here comes Goris. No! Play action. Dweller gonna unload for dog meat. <laughs> Overload. Oh, and it's Biceps making the sack. Looking good, bub. Looking good. That was a fucking classic Vault Dweller overthrow. There's another one. He's an efficient guy, but when he tries to stretch the field, sometimes he uh, stretches a little too far. And that will lead them to another punt. This could honestly be a lot, a lot worse for the Devils. If their offense would stop flubbing it, <laughs> their defense is playing relatively well. Oh, it's the flea flicker again. Trying for Steamboat, incomplete. Yeah, three turnovers already. Oh, I guess. Uh... Caught! Steamboat breaks away! Oh, and he's dragged down. And he is down. Oh, no. First round pick. Rookie Ricky Steamboat is down. And Lance Vance will check into the ball game as we head to halftime. Yeah, for real. I think the Goldens... The Goldens have watched every single flea flicker the Devils have ever run, and they are so ready for it. Yeah. Yeah, even then. And they get the second half kickoff. Golden's firmly in control of this one. Devil's not out of it yet, but losing Steamboat is going to hurt. Oh, everybody's open. Goris. Overthrown! Oh my goodness. That would have been a touchdown for sure. And he still had half the field in front of him. I just, I, I know the man. Oh, they bottle him up behind the line. That was a bit of a wayward toss. And this time, Goris tries to slice through. They'll stuff him just short. And that'll bring up a punt. Just barely making the stop on Goris. And Vance will get a chance to return. Dodging tacklers. Not much in the end. But they'll set up from the 22. Throwing for Levitz. Intercepted again. K9 with two interceptions. Dweller taking off on a keeper, and he gets away. He may score. He will. Touchdown, Touchdown Goldens. What a run by Vault Dweller. He says, hell with all this overthrowing crap. I'm going to just take it myself. Yeah, that interception ties the single-game record. Previously held only by two Starmen. Is Dweller in excellent condition? He might be. Twenty-one to nothing. The Devils have never been manhandled quite so at home. Fumble! Oh my goodness, it goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession, but it doesn't look good. That was like Axion speed. Salami sidewalk. 
making the sack on Claude, and now they're at risk of a safety. Levitz to try to prevent that. He'll only get it up to the five. The Devils are getting destroyed. Oh! There it is! John Lovetron with the sack and the safety. I feel... <laughs> and Dweller. Gonna throw for Richard British underneath. Incomplete. 23 to nothing. If the Devils get shut out at home, that would be... They would lose all, all credibility of their, their home field advantage. Dogmeat with a huge catch downfield. He's gonna run it in. Touchdown! The connection is made! Oh my goodness! Yeah, Spoon, I think you're definitely gonna get a return on this one. I know not how much. Well, you put in a lot, so you should get a fair chunk. Thought I placed on the... <laughs> oh my god. 30 to nothing. The uh, the Devils were known for having the best home field advantage uh, that started to waver last season when they lost their first ever home game to the Starmen. If they get shut out here today, and we are heading to the fourth quarter after that incompletion, if they get shut out at home today, that erases pretty much all of that. Better not have jinxed the no-hitter. Incomplete pass. Oh, even I can't jinx this. Claude from the shotgun, under heavy pressure, gonna go down, Lovetron with another sack. Keep in mind, folks, this would be only the second ever shutout in SGFL history. And that turnover on downs is looking like it's going to help lead the way. Now the question is just by how much? Jesus. British. Taking it for four. Weller looking to throw. He's got Goris deep down the middle. Going to try Buggo in traffic. Makes the catch up to the 30. First down, Goldens. <laughs> Goris can't find much. The other first round wide receiver, the one that I thought should have gotten drafted instead of uh, Klaus Steamboat, in fact. But the Devils laid off, and uh... well, now look at him. Steamboat's on the sideline with a concussion. Little Buggo's making possession catches for first downs. Doris for another first down to the 13. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Looking for Buggo. Incomplete. Still 234 to go in this ball game, and we've got one more game to go, folks. Who haven't we seen today? Pats and Defenders? Defenders Patriots? Nice. I'm looking forward to that matchup. Those are two of those have been two of my favorite teams to watch so far this season. And here comes 33 to nothing. Hey, what's up, Basone? Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League. You're just in time for what might be our second ever shutout in SGFL history. Also, it is worth noting that on the score of uh, the score of the score of chart, there has never been a winning score of 33 to anything. So this would be the, the the first score in that column, and it would take the very top spot of 33 to zero, uh, barring anything uh, unforeseen. Oh my goodness! They cough it up again! Levitz manages to recover, and he's actually taking it the other way. Crossing the 40, now to the 30. <laughs> to the 20! To the 10! Touchdown! I don't believe what I 
just seen! And the Goldens will recover the onside kick. There will be no late game heroics. But they do prevent the shutout at home, and that is uh, incredibly important to the Devil's morale, I, I have to tell you. I cannot believe that they somehow managed to fumble it and then holy roller it. Joker arc. My Joker arc began right then. <laughs> and that will... Oh, British breaking a tackle. And that'll expire time. Who's the game MVP? Uh, probably Goris. Mm. No, actually, probably John Lovetron. Probably, probably John on the defense. If I, uh, if I had to say, off the top of my head, probably John Lovetron on the defense. Um, both quarterbacks were bad. Claude was worse. Um, honestly, offense in general was, like, fairly subdued by both teams. It's just... The Golden's defense was not fucking playing, dude. Oh, actually, yeah. Well, mm, it, yeah, it would be either John Lovetron with the three or four sacks and a safety, or K9 with the two interceptions. Probably probably John with the, the safety, because that it ended up with points. But, I mean, I think both interceptions led to points, too. So... So, and toss up. Just call call K9 and John Lovetron co MVPs for the game. Um, 33 to seven. I totally jinxed that that shutout, and uh, it wouldn't have been SGFL if I didn't jinx something. So, aha. Harold had a defensive TD. That's true. That's true. There was the there was the the fail flicker into a TD. Axie off. I need a first name for him though. He needs at least one letter in the first name. Um. Okay, I've made my state. Axe Eof. Well, I hear it. Let's. What, a, what does Wolf say? <sighs> Harold had. Well. Anasak or another fumble recovery? Honestly, the Golden's defense as a whole just fucking. What well, puns split into? Oh, I see what. You... Yeah, yeah, no, yes, that would be true. Okay, I'm just going to put Axie off uh, from Wolf, and I will put. Uh, A placeholder for his first name. And if you think of something, let me know. Um, save. Okay. Save state is saved. Axion Axioff. <laughs> Axion Axioff. Like wax on, wax off. <laughs> okay. From Wolf Academy. Axion. Axioff. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I like it. I dig it. Win slow, lose fast. You got points? But you got points? I'll do it right now. I do need names. <sighs> All right, let me settle up this bet. We'll get into our final game of the evening.
Congratulations, Golden's betters. Holy cow, 33. Oh, whoops. 33 to 7. We have one more game to go. Nice. Win slow, lose fast. Win slow, lose fast. From Spoon. That makes number 48. Got like 9K from that. Nice. All right. And then our final game of the day, Defenders at Patriots. Patriots got their first win of the season last week. Defenders suffered their first loss last week. Prediction start. Close that. Sorry. Golden's at 4-0 and is a bit of an uh-oh, especially if Starman stay injured next week. Hopefully they at least get Ness back. Um, hopefully. Otherwise, yeah, I don't... If they don't get at least one of their injury... Uh, one of their two big injuries back next week, then I, I don't see how they're gonna they're gonna manage. Um, especially going at Goldens. That's going to be really tough. Oh, one second. Let me put my vape on the charger. Starman are a road team, but they lost today on the road. They lost earlier this year on the road. Both of their losses are on the road. Who bet 25k? Probably Wolf. Probably Wolf. Wolf is our resident fat cat today. Yeah, see? Our sixth and final game of the day that will put us officially at our halfway point of the season. Oh, that's true. The Starmen and the Goldens have played each other more than anybody because of the, the meeting in the postseason so often. They played in both regular seasons and both postseasons. And they've... And they are, yeah, they're they're two and two against each other. So next week will be our big uh, fifth matchup tiebreaker, which is like super duper duper exciting. So uh, Starman at Golden's definitely slated to be game of the week next week. <clears throat> Sorry, um, I'm trying to get to VIP through betting. Already said this. Yes, and I believe in you. Get that VIP. All right, let's do it. Defenders at Patriots. Abel's back. And that is all. <laughs> Mei Ling to kick off for the Patriots. And we are underway. Abel, fresh back from injury to return. And 
and they'll get it out past the 40 to the 41. Here comes Jorge, who suffered 11 sacks last week, looking to not do that this time. Hits Merrick for a first down, and they're already in enemy territory. Tosta Jr. cuts it back through the middle, back to the right, out in front, 20. Down at the 10. Big first down run by John Elway Jr. Jorge dropping back, has time. Gonna throw for Merrick, off target. Sailing to the right and out of bounds. Gonna hit Chunklets, touchdown! Defenders on the board. And Jorge did not suffer a sack on that drive. I think drives where Jorge does not suffer a sack are generally successful drives for the defenders, believe it or not. Rose going to take it up to the 18, and now we'll get a look at the Patriots' offense. Solid Snake has been very good this season, very efficient. Ryan breaking tackles. Ryan getting out in front, breaking another tackle and crossing midfield before going down. Nicely done, Jack. Oh, it's riding up the middle again. Cuts, and he's off to the 23. First down again. Snake dropping back, looking to throw, has time. Going to hit Miller over the middle. Has the first down again. Up to the 12. They are moving the ball very nicely. Three first downs in a row. Throwing for Hunter. Oh, trying to test the coverage. No good. Dropping back once again. Options open. Going to fire back across. Hal can't make the grab. Oh, I think that throw was just a little off target as well. It's not the most catchable. But I mean, you should probably catch it. Oh, wow! He just holds it, and Willie Stroker making the sack, and the Patriots will have to settle for a mailing field goal, and that's not something you ever want to do. We'll see if she can hit this one. Looks good from here, and it is. Patriots on the board. Solid Snake holding the ball much too long taking that sack it fizzles out what was an otherwise really great drive up to that point. From the 15, the defenders will start. Oh, does he see him? He's going to try Harden. Caught in traffic. Nicely done. Harden, who until last week didn't have even a target. I think whatever... Uh, Whatever disagreement Jorge and Harden were having is over now. They seem to be back on the same page and uh, a little a little chummier than they were at the start of the season. Heavy pressure and Liquid Snake making the sack. Uh, making the sack. I almost call it a snack. Looking for Merrick. Got him wide open. Dodges two guys. Down to the 35. First down defenders. Huge catch and run. And a nice run by Elway Jr. to get it to the chains. Jorge going to drop back. Hits Chunklets out of the flat. Dodges one. Gets it to the left side. Inside the 10. First and goal from what looks like the 5. From the shotgun, Jorge, with time. Going to toss it to Chunklets, who escapes and scores. Defenders extending their lead. Jorge looking a lot better as he's got a lot more time to throw this week. Kick is away from the 28. Rose. Ooh, stuffed at the 32. Not much. 
Toss goes to Raiden. He's had some big runs already. Find some room on the left sideline. Finally dragged down at the 39. Gotta just keep giving it to him. He's been great today. He'll drop back and try a pass. Step up, dodges one. Gonna take off as he dodges another. Dodges a third and then is dragged down by the fourth, but not before getting it inside the 20. First down from the 18 yard line now. Snake dropping back once again. Gonna throw over the middle. Does he just not feel like throwing it to Otacon today? I don't, uh, or, I mean, they threw it to him earlier. It just, they didn't connect it. I don't, yeah. Throwing for Miller, incomplete. Third down now. Snake gonna step up, take off. Caught from behind and brought down. And that'll set up another field goal as they fizzle out in the red zone again. Oh, and this doesn't look good. Oh, barely. Ooh wee! Thought she was about to give that one the mailing special. Miss it wide to the left. Abel from the goal line. Yeah, they actually might. If they can uh, put a dominant, or I mean just a, a decent win even. Oh, fumble, out of bounds. Okay, <laughs> I thought they were gonna scoop that somehow. If they can manage to uh, put even just a, a decent win together. They should end up with a better point differential than the Starmen. Well, definitely, because the Starmen uh, lost. I forgot the Starmen lost. They're 2-2. Two two. Holy crap. Yeah, defenders could, uh, could put themselves in a really good position to stay on top. Yeah, really hard to top. 3-0 oh into... I mean, the second half of the season would have to go very differently. Which means we could have the defenders in the postseason! And not in the fucking Blunder Bowl, <laughs> losing to the Stars. But maybe in the Bronze Bowl, losing to somebody else. Halftime score is 14 to 6. The Patriots will get the ball first. And they do have a never say die attitude. We'll see if they've got a comeback in store today. Right in. Caught in stride. Can't quite find the edge, but he does get it to the 39. First down. This is a handoff to Gray Fox. No. Keeper. Dodges one. Tries to find the edge. Gets six yards. And gonna take off again. Has the first down. Has a lot of room in front of him. Drag down from behind at the 10 yard line. It's gonna be first and goal. Dropping back once again. Gonna throw for Emmerich. Can't make the catch in traffic. Did get a hand on it. <laughs> Wait, is there really? Oh, I guess there is. Touchdown! Patriots get it in! Gray Fox breaking a tackle at the goal line and punching it in. Yeah, I guess you're right, because there's been... Well, yeah. The crew made it last season after going to the... After losing the first Wonder Bowl. What a weird stat. What a weird, what a weird stat that looks like it'll be true again. John Elway Jr. Taking it left side. Plenty of room for the first down. 14-13 ball game in the third quarter here. Jorge and company with the ball. Chunklet's going to keep it off the fake reverse. Going to get it to the chains. Going to get the first down. John Elway Jr., Getting it inside the 10 to the 6. First and goal. And punching it in. Touchdown, defenders. John Elway Jr. 
Looking good, Bob. Looking good. Yeah, well, I guess they're just trying to... Just trying to work some clock. Zero passes the last two drives. It works out for them here. Although Rose is able to put a nice return on this one. Getting past the kicker. All the way to the 26 before being brought down. Hey, what's up, Lanza fan? How you doing, dude? Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League. Oh, my goodness. Miller wide open. Didn't even have to dive for it. Can't make the grab. And now Snake under pressure and gonna go down. It's Cucumber. I cannot believe Master Miller did not make that catch. Ryden on the right side. Got the first down. He could score. He will. Touchdown, Patriots. And they'll draw back within two extra points. We'll make it one. We've got quite the nail biter on our hands. 21-20. Nearing the start of the fourth quarter. Short kickoff. Abel going to take advantage of it. Set him up at the 44. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're the Foxhound Patriots. They're all Metal Gear Solid 1 through 4 characters. Jorge with time. Going to throw for Chunklets. Hits him in the middle. First down and more. He's going to score. Touchdown, defenders. And that'll take us to the fourth quarter. Defenders up 27-20. Extra point will make it 28 and a two-score game. And that is good. Three TD day, no big deal. That's just, Jor just Jorge things. Just Jorge things. Nowhere to go for riding up the middle. They've still got time, but they need to get going. Snake dropping back. Has time. Starts to break down. Gonna unload for Otacon. Hits him inside the 20. He's not the fastest guy in the world. Gets it down to the two. First and goal, Patriots. Huge catch if he was just a bit faster. Ryden with the edge. Yes! Breaking the tackle, and he's in. Extra point will draw them back within one. We'll see. We'll see. Still a lot of time left. Uh, Lanzapan, I'll add your pick after this game. Uh, nearing three and a half minutes to go. Jorge and company with a one-point lead. They need to get some... Uh, some movement going here. Do they onside? They did not. Throwing for Merrick. Got him over the middle. Sprinting away across midfield. Getting away from one and another and another. Finally dragged down at the 22. Gonna throw it. Oh, was looking for Harden. He waited until the last possible second to throw that pass. Driving back now. Gonna throw for Harden, who's got it. Inside the five to the four. First and goal defenders. Patriots gonna clock it. Toss to Chunklets. He's got room. Touchdown. That just might do it. Um, if you've got the image, you can just send it to me on Discord, or you can send it as a link, whichever. 35-27. Maybe they should have on-sided. 
We'll see what they can do. If they can score quickly and get an onside, then we've still got a potential comeback on our hands. Uh, although Rose should really go down instead of wrestling for only six more yards. Good lord. Gray Fox going to take it and get out in front. Crossing midfield before being dragged down. That'll take us under a minute. Snake dropping back. Snake stepping up. Snake taking off. Snake is short. 39 seconds now. You need to score on this play. Oh, and it doesn't need to be a long running play. Yep. Nope. That's the first down, but it takes us under 30 seconds to play. Can't connect. 13 seconds to go. That's going to do it. Snake going to step up. Fire back across. It's knocked out of the air. And that'll do it. 35 to 27. Defenders hold out. Snake with his uh, probably worst game of the season so far. 27% for only 82 yards. Jorge, meanwhile... Whole bunch of touchdowns, 83% complete, 226 yards. Merrick with three for 97. Yeah, John Elway Jr. with seven for 102, although Ryden actually had seven for 117, but... Wah. Perfect passer rating from Jorge. Uh, you think. Uh, we'll call it. Perfect passer rating from Jorge. Um... Really nice game, and they are in first place in their division. And I think second place over... Overall, maybe maybe, maybe third, depending on... Um, depending on how one did work out. Let me get the save state. I'll settle up the bet. Week four, four dash six. Uh, I'm gonna send these over. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Can I not select multiple fucking files? Oh wait, whoops. What was I trying to do? Whatever. There you go. All right, there's those. Um, let me settle up the... Plug in the score, 35-27. And let's settle up the bet. Yeah, that was a good week. Very good week. Had uh, some one-sided games. Had some, some exciting games, though. Had a 17-14 had a stars get past the, the star men. You had the the Patriots try to come back, but not quite against the defenders here. We had uh, we had even the Jets with a shot at a comeback late, uh, although they weren't quite able to pull it off. There you go, defenders, betters. Yeah, the Renegons absolutely crushing the crew and the Umbrella. Oh, yeah, we had the Billies choking their 10-9 to halftime lead. They end up losing 28-10. to Just just ridiculous. And then we had the Devils nearly get shut out, but managed to get an absolutely insane garbage time touchdown to only lose 33-7. to Um...
10,519, just 15K more. Uh, you need like 40K more. If you're talking about for the VIP badge. Uh, okay, I have mistakes. All of that is good. Yes, good. Oh, did you win ten thousand then? What what is the ten five nineteen? All right, let's take a look at our standings. In the heroic division, we've got the uh, the the defenders on top. Starman and Stars at two and two. Patriots down at one and three. Sad. Oh, okay, my bad. I miss I misunderstood. Um Undead in the lead in the Chaos Division at three and one. Renegons and Devils at two and two. Billy's very sad at one and three. They just can't seem to get it together. Uh, Golden's four and zero, oh, the only undefeated team left, and uh, looking like it may stay that way. We'll see. They have the Starmen to contend with next week. Will Ness and Pooby back? They're gonna need them. Um, Umbrella at two and two, and then the Crew and the Jets both at one and three. Um, as it stands right now. Man, our wild card situation is super up in the air. Very interesting. Let's take a look at the team rankings. Who's got the best offense? Total, undead. Best pass, undead. Best rush, goldens. Yeah, we figured that. Good lord, 873 total rushing yards. That's crazy. Uh, best defense, total, devils. Uh, pass, it's actually the stars. Um, I thought they have the worst secondary. Is it just like by rating? Well, they're 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 doing their best. Uh, and then the Billies with the best rush defense, giving up only three hundred and twenty-two rushing yards so far. Who are our by rating? Okay, yeah. Well, and they're definitely playing above that. They played well today. Yeah, they definitely did. That's true. Although I think they I think they might have been number 1 last week too. I can't remember. Um Let me see. Let's go completions. Jorge, 32 completions. Oh shit. I didn't mean to back out of that. Most yards, Saint 4 with 751. Jorge with 739. Nick Oteen falls from first all the way down to fourth. Um, Annette Birkin slides up in, uh, ahead of him. Barney Shepard wiggles into fifth place. And touchdown passes. St. Four with only one more this week, but he does get his total to 10 over Oteen. And now Jorge are uh, gaining on him with eight apiece. And then Shepard with seven. Wow. Um, what is his... Twelve point seven percent of his passes get intercepted. Great. <laughs> what a what a what a fantastic what a fantastic quarterback. Uh Merrick still leading the league with most catches. One in eight, essentially one in eight. Wow. Good lord. Barney's uh he's got room to improve. Uh Merrick back in the lead for passing yards. As I think Mr. Saturn may have not had a catch all day. And then Dorian taking the lead for passing tu or for receiving touchdowns with five. Very nice. Very nice. 
Um, top rusher, Goris, up over 600 yards after just four games. Um, he's averaging 21 yards a carry. On He's only done 29 attempts. He's got eight touchdowns. Ridiculous. He's got the most touchdowns. And then, then it's actually Biff Chunklets in second place for most touchdowns. And then Dorian and Alenko and Ryden all tied for third. Interceptions. Uh, K-9 not only tied the single game record, but has now tied the single season record for interceptions. Um... So very, very nice job by him. Uh, gonna go sleep. Thanks for stream. Right on, Spoon. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for betting on games. We'll see you next time, dude. Have a good night. Get some good rest. He's got four games to get one interception. And then, I mean, you've got Belmondo, Rhythmic Slapping, and Clem's Hat. Who uh, are all poised to potentially break that record as well. Uh, if they can just get a couple more. So, a lot of interceptions today. Holy crap, a lot of interceptions today. Um, No TDs or anything. Who's got the most sacks? Birkin with 13. Oh, my God. He added another six. He added another six to his total. He was one sack away from tying the record that was set last week. Oh my god, dude. William the Eyeball Birkin. Insane, dude. 13 That's a new that's a new record. That's a new single season record after just 4 games. <coughs> the previous record for most sacks in a season was 12 by Jackie for the Starmen. And after just 4 games, William the Eyeball Birkin has broken it with 13. Who knows what his total is going to end up at? Holy crap. He could set a really like a really long term record. Four games left to set whatever kind of record he wants. Wow. Wow. Pretty impressive. All right. Let's take a look at next week's games. Next week, we will be past the halfway point, and we will have the Jets at Patriots, Renegons at Undead Part 2. Uh, or sorry, uh, the rematch, this time Renegons at Undead, Starmen at Goldens, Devils at Billies, uh, which will be a rematch, um, Defenders Crew, that should be good, and then, ah, the Raccoon City Bowl, Umbrella versus Starmen, technically Star, or, or not Starmen, uh, Umbrella versus Stars, Stars are the designated home team. Um, so that's what we've got lined up for next week. Should be good. Should be great. Um, let's hit the stoop. Uh, I've got a pick to add, and then I need to take a bathroom break. Um, let me see. Where's it at? Is it? Ah, what? In the, oh my God. Is that one of those things from the forest? It sure is. Nice. I played through the forest uh, a while back with uh, my buddy Vectus. It was a very good time. We used one of the gliders to get down into the hole at the bottom, or at the end. It was fun. It was very goofy. What the fuck? This isn't a PNG.
Lamau. Uh, do you have one with a... It said it was a PNG whenever I saved it, too. Do you have one with a transparent background, by chance? Mile has been dethroned. <laughs> Had to happen eventually. How about that one? Let me see. Oh, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's got like like spots in him. All right, where should we stick him? Behind Spider-Man. He doesn't have a lower half, so... Wait, actually. Here. This is ghostly snake. It looks like Snake's ghost is haunting him. Beautiful. Thank you, Lanzapan, for that wonderful addition to the stoop. Much appreciated. All right, I am going to run to the bathroom, and when, when I come back, we will do the next case of L.A. Noir. Stay tuned, BRB. I would never talk that shit in a Mario game. It's too likely to humble me. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Oh, damn, I want to see what's in there. Ah! 